We demonstrate a solution for efficiently gathering data streams from a large number of sensors. We hereby overcome the problem of demand oblivious sampling by scheduling and fusing reads according to the end application's data requirements. We are thus able to reduce the amount of data transmission significantly. The continuously growing number of sensors raises new challenges to the stream processing engines. Billions of sensor devices provide data streams to the analysis system to then be processed by an IoT application. In a typical IoT setup, the sensor nodes first read and transmit the data at a high frequency to the stream analysis system to enable it to answer all possible queries. The data demand of the deployed queries, that is, the minimal amount of samples required to meet the data accuracy constraints of the end applications, is not considered. The sheer amount of available sensors renders streaming data at a maximal frequency very inefficient. A high data rate at the stream processing engine requires a very expensive system scale-out which increases not only financial cost, but also affects the latency. In our full paper, optimized on-demand data streaming from sensor nodes, Traub and others propose a solution to mitigate this problem. They introduce techniques for demand-aware streaming from sensor nodes, aiming to acquire and transfer data only to the query's data demands. The contributions are twofold. Firstly, they propose a general framework for specifying a query's data demand, which allows to iteratively suggest an next read time in accordance with the query's data demand. Secondly, they propose a solution for sharing reads and transmissions among queries by contributing a multi-query read scheduling algorithm executed on the sensor node. It fuses individual read time suggestions of the deployed queries according to their data demand, to then schedule one single read that serves multiple queries. Our work implements the proposed techniques and provides insights into the internals of the proposed algorithms. We also provide statistics on the saved reads and transmissions. In our demonstration scenario, we present read scheduling on a Raspberry Pi, which is our sensor node. A sensor is attached to the Raspberry Pi. The Pi is connected via Ethernet to the stream analysis system, which we use to deploy various queries. We use the interactive dashboard to deploy custom queries and also to show the read and transmission savings and the real-time insights into the read suggestion and read fusion algorithm, which I'm about to introduce in the next couple of slides. One requirement for meeting the data demand is to adapt the sampling frequency depending on the recent history of sensor reads. In general, if values behave unexpectedly, if they for instance have a high variability, it is necessary to read samples at a higher rate. In contrast, if values barely change, the sampling rate can be reduced. A family of application-independent approaches to dynamically adjusting the read time intervals are adaptive sampling techniques. Besides generally applicable techniques, specific applications like area monitoring allow the formulation of more specific constraints for the corresponding query, dictating when a new sample is required. We combine these types of algorithms by offering the possibility to define a stateful algorithm for iteratively suggesting a next read time when a sensor value is read. The algorithm is specified when deploying a query, and we pre-implemented multiple adaptive sampling techniques that the user can use off the shelf. Small deviations from the suggested read time are useful to increase the potential for read sharing among queries. Depending on the query, however, these deviations can have different side effects that need to be specified to enable read fusion. We combine this two information in the so-called user-defined sampling function. A user-defined sampling function is a mapping from the last sensor read time and value to the next sensor read request. This request consists of three types of values. Firstly, the desired read time, which can, for instance, be proposed by an adaptive sampling technique. Secondly, an interval around the desired read time. And thirdly, a penalty function defined on that interval, which specifies how bad it is to deviate from the desired read time. The multi-query read scheduler uses the user-defined sampling functions of all deployed queries. It first computes a time interval, which we call the optimal fragment. It then minimizes the penalty function on that interval, yielding the next read time, which serves a subset of all deployed queries best. When the next read time is due, the sensor wakes up, issues a read, and transmits that value to the clients which issued the involved queries. Let's switch to the demonstration dashboard to show how to operate user-defined sampling functions. On the right-hand side, you can see the currently deployed data sources on the connected sensor. We use an open source framework for replaying previously acquired data on our sensor node. The first data set contains data from public transport vehicles. We offer two real-world applications on this data set, which you see listed underneath in the predefined query section. On the top panel on the left-hand side, you can see the read suggestion algorithm in action. The current time is visualized on the right of the screen. 
For each read time, you can see the exact same information that we provided in the previous slide on user defined sampling function. Firstly, the desired read time, which is suggested periodically by this query. Secondly, the permissible read interval, and in this case, a cubic penalty function. As only a single query is currently running, we only benefit from the data demand aware scheduling of the next read time, but we do not profit from fusing reads. So let's add a second query with a similar penalty function. In this scenario, the overlapping time frame is the optimal fragment. The cumulative penalty function is defined on this fragment, which we depict in red at the bottom of the visualization. The system optimizes that function and performs a read on the optimal fragment. In the panel below, you can see the saved reads and a histogram showing the deviations from the desired read time. We currently replay the data from a public transport data set, and now I will simultaneously deploy queries for multiple applications to briefly show the read sharing aspect of our solution in a more realistic environment. I added queries for a driving profiling application, which learns driving behavior from a vehicle's velocity profile and assesses the aggressiveness of the driving profile. I also added multiple applications for area monitoring, which have more lax requirements. We observe that the amount of saved reads grows, while we are still able to meet the data demands of the queries. We demonstrated a solution for efficiently gathering data streams in a demand-aware manner by scheduling and fusing reads according to the end application's data requirements. We demonstrated that we are able to reduce the number of sensor reads and transmissions significantly. The full paper, optimized on-demand data streaming from sensor nodes, extensively evaluates the presented techniques and presents the algorithms implemented in this demonstration in great detail. Thank you for your attention.